Hello everyone, my name is Debashish and I welcome you all to this IDA Pro video tutorial series. Uh, so in this video, I am going to quickly show you how can you rebuild uh, rebuild some structure uh, using IDA Pro when reversing any software. Uh, so if you are already not quite familiar with C structure, I'd request you to uh, go ahead and take some time and read about C structure and then come back to this video. Uh, so um, okay, so without wasting any further time. Uh, let's jump into the subject since I have already analyzed this binary before I'll uh, directly you know jump into the function function which is actually doing some operation with structures uh, so yeah mm, this is actually the function as you can see uh, we are seeing some you know calls to malloc mm, this memory allocated by this malloc will actually hold that you know buffer of that structure uh, so in this uh, video I am going to use the decompiler module of IDA Pro which comes with the premium version only which uh, so to be able to see the pseudo code of this particular function what you have to do you have to press F5 this is the shortcut uh, if you press F5 you will see the you know uh, pseudo code or you know C like code of that particular function what you have seen in the other tab uh, so as you can see here, uh, it, it it is it the function starts with uh, some of the variable declaration, uh, d word, q word, and after that we are seeing two calls to malloc. So uh, those are actually stored. Uh, those are actually variable v0 and v1. And if you uh, if you select this variable v0, what you will find out that you know we are uh, seeing. Uh, we are able to see that you it is actually setting uh, some of the values uh, in within that allocated memory uh, as you can see it is actually setting up uh, is setting one at certain offset after that it is setting two at certain offset and it is setting this particular value at at, a, at an offset so let's rename this variable uh, rename variable to ptr2 struct struct ptr to struct one okay and let's rename this to uh, I, I'll come back to this later on uh, so let's keep it for uh, v1 for the time being and after that you can see uh, the first it is actually setting uh, one structure member to one after that it is setting uh, second structure member to two and third to this fourth fifth six so there are total six members you can see uh, you can have a you can have an understanding that probably this structure will have six members in it uh, so um, since uh, setting the value of the first member to one uh, it is probably the value of it is probably the the data type of that first member will probably be an integer so uh, now let's try to create that structure so for that you have to go to this tab uh, structures and as you can see it is actually you know listed down all the shortcuts that you can use to add uh, create modify structures so insert delete key will actually you know create delete structure uh, the keyboard shortcut da and star actually will create structure members uh, and uh, rename uh, n is for rename structure or structure members and u is deleting structure members okay so now let's uh, press insert as you can see uh, we have got a window and where you can simply write my struct my struct one and as you can see we have uh, this structure created and the size of this structure is zero because there is no member right now so since what we have seen here uh, the first and second structure uh, member is uh, you know uh, of integer and if you look at this uh, block post here uh, is integer so now so if you look at this data type so integer uh, actually you know takes four bytes uh, so this is actually the microsoft documentation uh, integer takes four bytes so what we are going to do here uh, go to structure and we are going to add uh, one member to this particular structure so for that what you have to do uh, you have to press D that is for create structure member let's press D uh, as you can see we have one 
structure member created and what you have to do here you have to change right now it is actually db it, it the size is one byte as you can see size is one byte so we have to change it to uh, a data type which actually you know gives us four bytes of space so for that you have to press d uh, so if you press d twice as you can see we have you know now the size is four so now i'll also rename it to my int one my int one and we'll need couple of more uh, you know structure member as well i'll add it so to add more uh, structure members you have to select this uh, you have to keep your cursor on this ends and again press d and you have to press d again to make it to dd and you can rename it to my int 2 and let's again press d or a so let's press d yeah so uh, we have first two uh, integer and we have one more field we'll we'll, uh, pro uh, we'll we'll rename it later on based on that so now let's go to our pseudo code window so what you can see here the this pseudo code has not been updated so what you have to do here you have to right click on this this pointer to structure or any of this you can simply right click and select convert to struct so once you select that you are going to get a list and at the end of the list you should see the structure that we have just created which is my struct one if you just select ok uh, as you can see after the updation is done it is actually you know you are getting a c like code like this is the pointer to structure and it is setting the uh, mine to one mine to two and since we and this is actually the third member of that structure uh, so anyway uh, I'll just for the time being I'll change it to so I guess this is probably floating pointer so if you just copy it and check online convert to float yeah this is actually as you can see it is 1.5 this is actually floating uh, pointer so let's uh, rename this I'll rename uh, my float one and floating pointer value is also four bytes uh, f l o a t float yeah four bytes so uh, that should be good enough uh, so now as you can see again this is not updated yet so for that again what you have to do you have to click here right click convert to struct as you can see this is also got rename mm, and uh, the what is what else we have to do here and we have one so this is the floating pointer is being set and this is probably some characters as you can see 4 1 4 C something something so this is also 4 bytes so we can simply add one more member just select ENDS press D and press D two more times to make it DD now these are actually let's say rename my car yeah this is done and after that what you can see um, uh, we have our one two three four we have four members uh, so far and the fifth member as you can see this is actually setting up uh, this is actually uh, pointing to a, this will be pointing to a function which means the fifth uh, member of our structure is a uh, pointer to a function uh, so let's add that as well um, select ENDS press D once uh, press D twice yeah and let's rename it to my F U N C my F P T R okay now we have it here let's do that once again to so that our pseudo code get updated yeah as you can see uh, this my F P T R is set to this okay uh, now let's uh, there is one more uh, uh, one more uh, structure uh, which are being processed here 
which is actually you know pointed by this v1 the second malloc call so let's rename it for now uh, let's uh, actually let's rename it ptr2 str1 and basically uh, this is also setting up a value uh, actually we need v2 in this so we can rename this one my ptr str c struct okay so what you can see here mm, the last member of our structure one is actually pointed to a structure which is actually you know allocated by this malloc uh, this is actually clear clear from here pretty clear uh, the there will be one more member actually so you can uh, i have not added it yet so uh, this pointer will be pointing to another structure uh, which is actually you know allocated by this second malloc call and mm, and this second structure is having two function pointer what you can see right because the first member is being set to this function and the second member of this second structure is will be pointing to this particular function so uh, so far what we can understand the second uh, structure will have two members so let's add that uh, so again uh, just put your cursor somewhere here and press insert and we'll have struct2 let's name it to my struct2 and right now again we have the size of the structure is 0 so we, you can just simply press d and pr press d twice to make it to you know size 4 dd and let's call it my func pointer my function pointer one and again what you have to do you have to simply right click uh, convert to structure and you have to select my struct true from that list what you can see here uh, now uh, you are getting a proper uh, c like pseudo code that you know this is your structure and you are setting up this member of this uh, structure to this particular function and this is how actually you know uh, it, if you rebuild uh, some of this structure using ida pro this will give you a much better understanding of uh, the disassembly or you know what is going on so that is why it is highly recommended that when you are actually com reversing any complex software you uh, you identify some of the important function uh, and you know uh, try to you know rebuild all this structure using this this uh, particular functionality that ida provides so that you have a better understanding of the code flow so this is what i wanted to discuss in this video so i hope you have found this video useful so i'll try to make some you know more realistic example uh, later on in this series uh, so till then please stay tuned and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye